Hi, I'm Jonathan Caroli, cellist in the Los Angeles Philharmonic. In this video, I'm going to be discussing how to play with very smooth bow changes. This is such an important skill in order to not have an interrupted line and in order to have a really seamless legato whereby we can avoid stopping and starting the bow and playing with unnecessary portato. I like to think of using arm weight as much as possible and really incorporating the back and the shoulders and the elbow to draw out the sound. If we really use gravity to our advantage, I think it is very helpful. Um, this is easier on the lower strings, but even on the upper strings. If we're free in the way we play, it's very simple and I, I like to tip the cello a bit. So on the A string, I can actually play. <laughs> weight as well. If the cello is straight on when we play on the A string, that creates more tension here and in the shoulders and in the back creates more tension and it's harder to really sink into the string. So I prefer for the fingers to be really soft and flexible, not rigid. Um, stiff fingers and a locked can can really create problems. If we play with a fixed locked hand, it makes it much more difficult to play quicker and it decreases the versatility that we have in the bow strokes that we choose to play with and use for quicker playing and for string crossings, for instance. So as an analogy to work on this smooth legato playing and bow changes, as an analogy, let's think of the hand as a jellyfish and the fingers as the tentacles or whatever the proper term is. I know that's not it. So without the bow, let's in a fluid, very fluid manner, let's use the hand and go back and forth with the fingers following, kind of like a jellyfish, okay? Now, if we incorporate this into our cello playing as an exercise, let's try doing an extreme version of this on the cello. We wouldn't play this way usually, but I think it can be helpful. So for instance, on the C string, this might be most easy. So in order to really pull and push the sound, let's allow the hand to collapse forward and back, okay? So, really allow this, uh, as I, this jellyfish idea. Play around with this. Especially on the G and C string, this can be very helpful to have this idea of really pulling the sound out this way. That's what I'm talking about. Now, thinking about the fingers, I really like to think about the first finger and the thumb as the drivers of the sound. Um, the other fingers are help with adding finesse and nuance and counterbalancing the hand, but you can also play around and see just using the first finger and the thumb, for instance. Try two fingers at a time. Any two fingers. Play around with this. See what happens when you use, don't use the first finger, for instance. And I just use the second finger. I realize quickly that I can't really get into the sound. I can't pronate. I can't really drive the sound or sink in like I would. So some musical examples that can show that smooth legato playing, um, a couple come to mind. So I'll play the beginning of the Brahms E minor sonata, which will demonstrate on the lower strings, especially the C string, what that's like. Uh, the Brahms Piano Concerto, the cello solo on the higher strings, mostly on the D string. so on. 
just so we have really smooth, seamless changes. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more helpful tips, please check out my YouTube channel and please do visit my website where you can learn a little bit more about me. Thanks.